a new vaccine against COVID-19 was approved and ended up on the market, Novavax. This video takes a closer look at how this vaccine was manufactured and how it works inside the body. The vaccines against the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 can be divided into subclasses. The mRNA vaccines from Moderna or Pfizer-BioNTech contain messenger RNA encapsulated in lipid nanoparticles. Vector vaccines such as in the case of AstraZeneca use an adenovirus as a vehicle to transport DNA into the body. The third type describes rather traditional protein subunit vaccines and Novavax is one of those. Before having a glimpse at Novavax, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel to stay updated. How is the new Novavax vaccine manufactured? Like the other vaccines, also Novavax targets the viral surface protein, referred to as the spike protein. The production process starts with the genetic information of that protein in form of DNA. The DNA encoding for the viral surface protein is inserted into an insect virus. That virus can infect insect cells. Those so-called SF9 cells originate from a moth. Once the virus has infected the SF9 cells in culture, the DNA is released and enters the nucleus. Here, it is transcribed into messenger RNA. And after processing, it is exported into the cytosol, where it is translated into the spike protein. One can say that the insect cell is exploited as a protein production factory. Scientists can harvest those artificially produced spike proteins which can be collected in high quantity, next to the nanoparticle formation. A so-called PS80 core is used and the spike proteins assemble around that core to form a nanoparticle. Adjuvants are added to the nanoparticle. Adjuvants are used in several vaccines to enhance the immune response. As a short side fact, the adjuvant for Novavax is based on saponin, a plant molecule extracted from the soap bark tree. The Novavax vaccine has been finalized. But how does it work inside the body? The vaccine is injected into the upper arm, inside the muscle tissue. The nanoparticles encounter so-called macrophages. Those cells of the immune system take up the nanoparticle and start to digest the protein. Small remains of the protein, in other words the antigen, is presented on the cell's surface. Here it is recognized by T helper cells which will stimulate the immune system. Either in form to alarm B cells which produce antibodies against that antigen or to induce a cytotoxic T cell response. Those special type of T cell can attack cells infected with the virus that these T cells recognize. The immune system is now equipped with multiple tools to prevent the infection with the real coronavirus, or at least the body is trained enough to be more resistant against severe cases. The technology of the protein-based Novavax vaccine is considered traditional. In case you want to know more about the mRNA vaccines, check out this video here. Also, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a like if this video could help you out. Thanks for watching.